today let us start with rationalization suppose you have a number who is an irrational number like in this case okay you have the denominator there is square root you see whose denominator is an irrational number that means it is inside the square root then what happened we will try to multiply the number okay we'll multiply both up and down in such a way that we will be able to remove this square root this radical sign then that process we call rationalization so remember when we try to remove the square root the radical sign multiplying it by some new number that process we call rationalization in simple words okay converting a rational irrational number to rational number then that is what we call rationalization and that number which we multiply okay that new number which we multiply ourselves that is what we call rationalizing factor like here you see the example we have 3 by square root 5 so we want to remove this square root from the denominator so what to do remember uh, to remove square root we need to get two factors so we already have one five here so how many more five we need we need one more so we multiply with another root five this one should come from our own common sense okay then if we multiply it down we also have to multiply up because it is us only who produce it so that if suppose i cancel we will get back the original okay then here you see we'll multiply five into five so now there are two five we can remove the root then here they will remain okay so this new number which we multiply we call it rationalizing factor okay when the whole process removing of radical sign from denominator we call it as rationalization and then suppose sometime you may have like the case you may have like that you may have root 3 plus root 5 okay you, you see in this case you have only one number but here you see you have two ration, irrational number with plus then in this case how to remove the square root we have to remove it by multiplying by same number but opposite in sign here we have plus we have to multiply with minus okay the number should be same but only sign if you have plus multiply by minus if you have minus multiply by plus such kind of number we used to call it conjugate okay conjugate that mean root 3 plus root 5 is the conjugate of root 3 minus root 5 root 3 minus root 5 is the conjugate of root 3 plus root 5 so then after this what we can do we can see we can use a formula a plus b a minus b it will become a square minus b square so the minute we apply the formula then the square root will disappear okay so you see like this if we have a plus square root b then we have to multiply with a minus square root b the number should be same only in opposite in sign if you have plus multiply it minus if you have minus multiply with plus then after that we apply the formula a plus b a minus b the answer will be written in the form a square minus b square okay so here that mean a into a a square square root b into square root b it will become only b and then here you see no more square root okay so such numbers we call them conjugate of one another and then they also become the rationalizing factor of one another so like you see in this case we have 5 plus root 5 oh, sorry root 3 to remove this square root 3 what did we do this is the original write it then here you have 5 here also write 5 here plus here you write minus root 3 root 3 same then this one which you multiply up down also multiply up then down now we can apply the formula okay 5 into 5 square a plus b a minus b so 5 into 5 25 
square root 3 into square root 3 will become 3. Then now you see no more radical sign from the denominator. Okay, so this whole process we call rationalizing. If we only remove the square root from denominator, we call it rationalizing the denominator. And if we remove it from numerator, then we will call it rationalizing the denominator. Okay, so using this process, we will do the next exercise. We will see exercise 1G. Here what to do? Rationalize the denominator. So what we have to do? They say rationalize the denominator. That means we have to remove the square root from the denominator. So let us see. Here we still have a single number. So there is no number here. That means there is square root. So there is already one 7 here. How many more 7 we need in order to remove it out of the root? You already have 1. The order is 2. That means we need 2. Okay. 1 is already here. So that means we have to multiply 1 more. So that we can remove the square root. Okay. Then if you multiply down. You also have to multiply up. Clear. So 1 into root 7. We cannot do anything. It will remain like that. Then here you have square root 7, 7. There are 2 of them. You can write them together. Now how many 7 are here? There are 2 7. So that means we can take out 1. Okay. So if you take out 1, the square root also disappear. So once the square root disappear from denominator, we finish our job. Okay. Because they say rationalize the denominator. That means remove the radical sign from the denominator. Next, you will see number 2. We have 1 by square root 12. Okay. So, there also we already have 1 12. How many more we need in order to remove it out of the root? Because here we see no number. That means order 2. We need 2 of them. Okay. 1 is already here. So, we have to multiply 1 more. But here because there is square root. We also have to multiply by square root. So if we multiply here, we also have to take it up. Okay. The one which we newly multiply, original no need. The one which we newly multiply down, we also have to multiply up. And why we multiply? Remember, our aim is to remove the square root from the denominator. So now, same order, we can put them under 1 root. 12 into 12. Then here 12, you know it is a even number. So we can 